Hey guys, I had another dream. Well, I had this dream a while ago actually, but I really feel like I need to share it because there's a message behind it also. And uh, yeah, I'll, so I'll tell the dream first, then I'll tell you the discernment God gave me afterwards. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and start. Just get right to it. So the dream started like this. I was in a classroom and I was in the very, very back of the class. And there was these two students sitting next to me. And well, obviously there's two students sitting next to me, it's in the classroom, but these two students sitting next to me, it was like we were a group or something. It's like we all, it's like us three like knew each other or we were, we were like, yeah, we're in this together. Like that type of vibe. I don't know. It was weird. But, um, I remember the, uh, the subject of the class was like history or the history of religion or something. And the teacher was teaching everybody, Hey, we all need to respect each other's beliefs. You know, we all need to, we all need to leave them be because everyone has their own ideas. And I remember the students and I were thinking we were, we were just like, no, that's not true. Like, <laughs> doesn't matter what your belief is. Beliefs don't change reality. And I, I said that to the teacher and then the way he, he was like, he was like, you just, you didn't just say that. Like you didn't just say that. And he just totally dismissed me. And then the girl in front of the class, she turned around, she looked at me she, with a weird look. And she was just like, <laughs> like that, that. And she like kind of brushed me off. And I don't know the vibe I got from her, the way she was dressed and everything. She looked like, I don't know, some kind of like modern, you know, new age type type stuff. I don't know. She, it, I don't know. I just got weird vibes from her. And um, so after that happened, the class kind of kept going on. And then I, it was like I was pulled out. In t or it was like I was shown a vision within the dream. It was really weird. It was like a vision within the dream. So this vision that I had within the dream was a massive tsunami, ma absolutely massive, bigger than any tsunami that there's ever been, like ever in the history of anything. And um, I remember seeing the tsunami there. It was, it was literally carrying like a aircraft carrier, like it was nothing, like a little toy. And uh, like, I don't know if you guys seen the movie 2012, but the tsunami was like that big. And it was carrying buildings, it was just carrying a bunch of stuff. Boats, ships, all that. And that's in, that's in the Bible also, in Revelation. There's going to be an asteroid that hits the water. And, you know, a third of the ships will go down, a third of the sea life will go down, like, all that stuff. So, I saw a vision of that. And then I'm back to the classroom. And I, I told the two students next to me. And then we sprinted out of the classroom. And uh, we didn't listen to what anyone was saying i don't even remember if anyone said like hey where are you going like i don't remember the teacher saying anything but we sprinted out of the classroom and we tried to find a high place because you know we know we know there's a tsunami coming and um we found this massive rock and it was like strange it was like in the middle of this flat town this huge rock and it was just us three we climbed up there we we're the only ones up there and then by that time it was like nighttime you know it took a while and then in the distance, we see the tsunami coming. But by this time, it was like kind of shortened, smaller. Because, you know, that's just what happens when tsunamis go inland. And uh, it was carrying so much stuff with it. It was just total destruction. And by the time it got close to us, like not to us, but really close to us, there's this other group of people that ran up trying to run up to the rock. And when they got up here, we were just us three we were, we were looking at them and we were like we noticed something was off with these people like they didn't look like real human beings they looked like fake humans like animatronics i don't know something just some weird humans and we were like no we got to send you back down like you're imposters you're like fakers or something i don't know it, it, in the dream it felt like the right thing to do you know to send them down and um so after we sent them down that's when the tsunami was finally here, but it was, it was like really small, barely even moving anymore. But by this time people were running around, you know, they were trying to get, they were just trying to run from the water that was already here, but they were just trying to run from it. And um, by the time that the water was there, there was out of nowhere, these demons just started appear, appearing. I don't know where they came from, if they came from out of the ground, but these like 10 foot demons with tails, like they, they were like clearly demons. And uh, some of them were, were weird. Like, some of them looked like males, but had, like, female body parts. Some of them, like, just had these long tails and big claw. I don't, like, I don't know. It was just, it was just really creepy. And uh, what they would do, they would snatch people up that were running around. And they wouldn't, like, kill them or anything. They would just, like, like, torture them. Like, physically and spiritually. Like, they would laugh in their faces, like, like, crazy. They would grab them, go face to face with them. They'd be like, ah! 
and just throw them on the ground, you know, grab a rope and like just like skin. Oh, I, I won't go into detail, but I saw some nasty stuff. And uh, the whole time, the, you know, I'm with these two students on top of the rock. We're perfectly safe just watching all this go down. And then we're just in shock at what we're seeing. And then whew, we get transported to like some room, some big white room. And I really wish I could remember what the one student was saying, but the one student was saying something. I, uh, I really wish I, I can't, I just can't remember. I prayed about this forever and so it has something to do with the word year. I, I just had some like every year, something like that. I don't know. Just some, some having, having to do with the word year. And uh, that's when I woke up from the dream. And so, sorry, my dog's barking. But this is what our, this is the discernment I got that I prayed for and what I got from it. So the classroom represented the world. Like all the students and I, we, and the teacher, we just represented the world. And the two students and I in the back of the class represented uh, Christians. You know, the ones that have the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of love, Jesus with us. And the the reason we were in the back of the class is because if you look in society, like Christians are in the back, you know, like we're looked at as like the crazy people, you know, the haters, you know, the homophobes, the just anything. Any, they'll try to get us with anything. And, you know, we're just looked at as like the weak, crazy people. You know, we're, we're the ones that get picked on a lot because they know our uh, our belief system or our not system, but like our way is, uh, you know, slap one cheek, turn the other cheek. They know that we're just going to take it. So that, so we're pushed to the very back and we're hated by, well, not everyone, obviously. Not everyone hates Christians, but a lot of people hate Christians, especially nowadays. And the, the girl in the front of the class, she was looking at me with a dirty look and she had that new age look on her face. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but but the, the, what I got from the dream is she represents the ideologies that are like pushed at the front of society, you know, like the LGBT, the, what else? Basically anything anti-Christian, anti-Christ. Like, you know, you look around, look at all the billboards you, you drive around, you know, you see these like symbols everywhere, even celebrities, they like, like there's little symbols that you'll catch and it's just totally like anti-Christ. And, um, so I feel like that definitely represented the girl on the front. They're pushed in the front of society. They're like super accepted. Everyone's like, hey, you have to tolerate. You have to tolerate, you know? And so, yeah, that, that's what the classroom represented, everyone in it. And the rock that we stepped on, me and those two people, represents Jesus. The rock is Jesus. Because all the chaos that was going all, all around us was you, you couldn't bear it if you were in it. And the only reason that they were in all that chaos and going through all that is because they weren't on the rock. They, they didn't have Jesus. And, um, yeah, and it was only three of us out of the whole classroom that were saved. And that kind of goes with what the Bible says, you know, like, broad is the path that leads to destruction. Many go on it. But narrow is the path to life. Few find it. So the Bible is kind of clear that not everyone's, not, not even most people are going to go to heaven. Not even half. Very few people, it says, find the narrow path. And it's, it's, it's sad to say, but that's just, that's just the truth. That's, that's what people want. People are just searching for happiness, you know, not truth. And uh, so, yeah. And those, those group of fake-looking people represented, uh, you know, fake Christians, lukewarm Christians. You know, their mouth professes, but their actions, their fruits, show something else. So, like... People who profess to be Christians and say that they believe in Jesus, even though the de demons believe, you know, but they tremble. So just people that claim to be Christians and they go to church on Sunday, they pray on Sunday. The rest of the week, you know, they're looking forward to Friday. They want to party. They want to get drunk. They want to get high. You know, they're, they're looking forward to midnight when they can watch porn in secret, you know, uh, when they're still living for the flesh. But then they claim to be Christians. They claim that they're saved. But their fruits show something else. So that represented the people that were trying to hop on the rock with us. And we were just like, no, you can't be up here. Like, you're fake. You're not, you're not even real. You're not about it. And so that's what we're going to have to do. Because the Bible says, be not yoked. Be not equally yoked with the unbelievers. People that 
produce terrible fruits, you know? So yeah, that's what those people represented. And I don't know what, I'm honestly not sure what the white room represented, but I think that represented like escape or not escape, but like, like reward, you know, like good job. You got out of that. You, you endured till the end. And so from the dream, what I got is there's going to be a lot of chaos that's going to go on, especially during the tribulation. So if you're, if you're on the rock, if you have Jesus and you truly, truly have faith and you trust, put all your trust in him, then you will be fine because fear not the one who has power to destroy the body, kill the body, but fear the one who has power to kill the body, not only kill the body, but throw your soul into hellfire. So fear the rock and use it. So like fear God and use Jesus as your savior. Because no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what storms going on around you, no matter what a demonic attacks are going on around you, if you have more trust in Jesus and more fear of him, then you got nothing to worry about because no one can destroy the name above all names. No one can overpower the all powerful, you know? So yeah, just keep your, keep your faith guys. Cause there's going to be a lot of bad stuff that's going to happen. There's already a lot of bad stuff happening right now. You know, I've had demonic attacks. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys have, you know, whether it be financially, whether it be, you know, through your family, friends, or just straight up demons trying to get at you at night. But keep Jesus as your rock, guys. Have full faith in him and be confident. Be confident because you have God. You have the creator on your side. Amen. Thank you, guys.